Crystal. Time now for A to Z 60, where we celebrate the people, places, and things that make the Valley awesome in just 60 seconds. So have you heard of Kava yet? It's advertised as a healthier alternative to caffeine or alcohol. It's becoming quite popular across the U.S. Is it caffeine or alcohol? Neither. <laughs> Major difference. All right. <laughs> it's a popular Polynesian drink, but what exactly is it? So we sent Team 12's Crystal Henderson to Arizona's first Kava bar to find out. Ready for a new kind of buzz? Chase is going to make me into a kava tender here at Lacuna, the first kava bar in Arizona. We're going to start with our kava chata. So you're going to go ahead and take two scoops of our Tongan kava. Kava comes from the root of a pepper plant. The plant name is Piper Mythisticum, which means enchanting pepper. Kava is a ceremonial tea. It's used by tribes to reach a higher level of consciousness for tribal rituals or maybe to settle a tribal dispute. And we're going to grab three tablespoons of our horchata mix. We serve kava here as a social lubricant. And it's a great place for people to come out, have a drink in a more healthy environment than you get at a traditional bar. Perfect, shake about 10 good times, pour it into this real coconut shell with a cinnamon sugar rim. And we have one kava chata. What is that tingling? You'll get a little numbing, tingling sensation from the kava, the same way they put capsaicin pepper in like an icy hot rub. Anytime anybody has a drink, we say bula, we raise our drinks in the air, and it's really recognition of the life or the spirit in somebody else. So bula! And that's your A to Z 60.